Welcome and hello to our how to movie How to publish a true view in Cyclone. Leica Cyclone Publisher publishes point cloud data for web-based sharing allowing access from anywhere in the world. Using the free Leica TrueView point cloud viewer, users can view, zoom in or pan over point clouds naturally and intuitively. Using a simple bubble viewer approach, you see point clouds on the computer screen just as if you were standing right where the laser scanner captured the scan data. In TrueView, users can extract real 3D coordinates and measure distances. Results appear right on the point cloud image. You can easily create markups to share them with your peers or clients for more effective communication. In the following we will look at how to publish a true view from a registered model space. Images were taken to color the point cloud with true colors. The model space view must contain at least one scanner setup. The visible scanner setups are then shown in the published sitemap. The first thing to define is the true view sitemap. This map is an entry point to the generated true view datasets. It is published based on a snapshot of the current view in the model space. So ensure size, orientation and color is set to give an easy and complete overview of all scanner positions. The snapshot of the current model space view will be the background image of the TrueView sitemap. Often it is meaningful to change to an autographic top view. Try Silhouette mode to create a view on the point cloud that emphasizes on the vertically aligned objects in the point cloud, like walls, and thus create a plan-like view. Once the sitemap's view is prepared, one can select Publish sitemap from the file menu to start the generation of the true view. Select or create an appropriate folder that will contain the true view files. Multi-select the stations to be published. You can either select the whole registration or only select distinct stations. Please note, if the selected stations were not part of the model space view, they will not appear in the true view. Confirm with OK. Now we can set the sitemap's properties. The image size reflects the size of the model space window and thus is a good setting for a screen of the current size. Either adjust the window size manually or enter smaller values for width and height to allow a good sitemap display on other screens. Choose a desired anti-aliasing property. This will smoothen the edges of modeled objects. The TrueView labels will label the station and the sitemap with the name of the scan worlds. If you uncheck the checkbox, also in the true view, the scan world's labels will be hidden. After the sitemap settings, we can define the true view settings. Make sure the point cloud data is included to allow measurements in the true view. The most important settings here are the image resolution and the color map settings. For the image resolution, the highest resolution is recommended. This will determine the level of detail in a true view. The estimated file size is shown here. 
only if one needs to create smaller files because of storage reasons or to allow a fast loading time via the internet, one should decrease the image resolution because this will also decrease the level of detail in the true view. The minimum and maximum range will determine in which range points and objects will be shown in the true view. If there are many objects in the true view, it might be useful to limit the visible range. The true view is an image of the point cloud where point coordinates are mapped to the image pixels. Increase the encoding error to allow less accurate measurements in the true view. Decrease the encoding error to make measurements more accurate. With a too small encoding error, for some pixels no measurements could be possible. To include modeled objects in the true view, leave those checkboxes checked. If you made images during scanning, you can use this imagery also as background image for the true view. You will then have images in the true view even in areas with no point cloud, for example in the sky. For large true views, one can enhance the clarity within a true view if not all surrounding stations are shown with a yellow triangle symbol. In the same way as you can adjust the color map of the point cloud in the model space, you can adjust the color map of the point cloud in the true view. To create a nice to view true view, it is a good idea to acquire images in the field and publish the true view with colors from scanner. Other possible color maps are grayscale or intensity mapping. The minimum and maximum range of the color map should be adjusted to the present minimum and maximum intensity values by clicking the double arrow button. The gamma correction will help to improve the display of low contrast scenes. Dot 45 is a good standard value. One means that the gamma correction is turned off. We are using dot 45. This default value is good for most scenes. Confirm with OK. The owner info is important meta information that can be called up in the true view with the I button. Here you can enter your company, project details or even contact details to be visible later on also in the true view. Accept your true view settings by pressing OK. Start the creation of the true view by pressing the OK button. The creation of a true view can take some time and is dependent on the number of the created true views, the image resolution and the computer power. Finally, we can open the generated sitemap from the Explorer. From there we can go into the true views by clicking the station symbol. You can turn around 360 degrees and jump from station to station. From the toolbar on the top you have access to the previously demonstrated measurement and markup tools. Leica TrueView is unique because it enables anyone to view, measure or mark up rich laser scan point clouds. All that is needed are access to file sets made by Cyclone Publisher and the free TrueView plugin. TrueView data, much like PDF, can be made available on an internal network, over the web or distributed on a DVD. The intuitive TrueView plugin makes accessing this data easy for any class of user with no training required.